Hello folks and welcome to day 12 of my 100 days of practice. So going into day, today, um, my only thought was that I wanted to utilize my uh, watercolors as gouache, gouache and I wanted to utilize them as gouache by adding titanium white gouache to my regular watercolors. Just kind of see how that plays out in real life. I'm currently in the process. I have, <laughs> yeah, I have an obsession, but I have a collection of Winsor & Newton designer gouache, which is pretty much my favorite, but I also have um, had the Holbein gouache. I also have Caran d'Ache gouache, and I've got Hemi gouache, and Maya gouache, jelly gouache, and um, anyway, why do I think I need more? I don't know, but I do, right, because I freaking love gouache. So I'm kind of on a gouache quick. Blech gouache kick and so um, I'm trying currently trying to decide between the Magello Mission White class which is a hybrid and the Shinhan Pass which is also a hybrid and um, they're both quite expensive over a hundred dollars so I haven't made a decision or jumped into the challenge yet and you know still like I said debating do I really need to buy more paint well I am an artist. This is what I do for a living. So it's not like it's not a write-off, but still, you know, it's a lot of money. I, I definitely spend more than I make in sales. So I, um, I actually, what I think I'm going to do is end up buying both of them, but I did buy the sample of the Mission White class. And in this video, I'm exploring using, um, titanium white to with my regular watercolors to make my own gouache and so um the only gouache that I can the only professional band brand of paint watercolor or gouache that I can purchase here locally is um M gram so which I don't really care I got rid of all of my M gram watercolors because they're just they're highly pigmented and they're really pretty but the problem is that they're they're difficult to work with because they're so viscous. I don't know what the right word is, but it's the viscosity of them that makes them so difficult to work with. There's like painting with freaking sludge or clay or, you know, they just don't, they don't move. They don't, they're difficult to blend with, even within their own brand. So I have three of their, four, no, I have four of their, um, gouache colors because I can get them locally and they're inexpensive and they're a good value and blah, 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 blah. But I just don't enjoy painting with them. Like I have, um, the Holbein, um, lemon yellow and that's pigment yellow number three. And I have the, um, M Graham pigment yellow number three. And guess what? The M Graham is just a pain in the ass to work with. It's just not pleasurable at all. And I don't even think the color's that great. Anyway, so I'm in the process of replacing some of my colors and might as well get a new thing and the thing with the Karen Dash is the magenta is not light fast so that of course doesn't work it's really fugitive which I did get around that by buying the Windsor & Newton Quinacridone um, magenta and so that's really not an issue but still you know I'm just gonna keep buying and buying and trying right so I had some technical difficulties uh, I got a phone call in the middle of taping this. This is another reason why I'm not going to be able to probably keep up 100 days. Did I mention that? Yeah. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. and um, But I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up the 100 days. We're in the middle of a remodel and it was kind of silly to think that I could get that, kick that in there. Um, but I do struggle with some things that I've been... Uh, I've actually improved on a lot. One of them is coordinating my camera with my um, computer monitor because that's like a big deal. Before I wasn't able to see what I was seeing, it would shut off, I wouldn't know it. So I've got that worked out. I think it's working pretty good. Got my lighting worked out. I can take whenever. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, please like, subscribe, leave a positive review, blah blah blah. Those things you do on the internet cost you nothing but mean a lot for my art. Thanks for supporting my art. Bye. See you tomorrow.